Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, I've got Hank with me today. He's going to demonstrate something a little later. Um, this video is going to be about the awning that I use when I'm truck camping. And uh, I did have a video about a month ago where I kind of covered the stuff inside the truck. And now I'm moving to some of the outdoor parts of it. And, and the awning has turned out to be a, a really important part of truck camping for me, especially for longer trips where there might be bad weather. Now there were a few things that I was, when I was looking at different awnings, uh, some things that I was considering or that were important for me for a truck camping awning. One was that it extend off of the back of the truck instead of off to the side. Um, another was that it could handle rain. A lot of awnings uh, are designed in a way, not intentionally, but they collect rain or they collect water and they end up weighting down and, and kind of collapsing under it. So I wanted an awning that would, um, would do well in the rain. Uh, and then the other part was that something that I could uh, take off the truck or leave self standing or take off the truck and put back on very easily. So if I had a camp somewhere and I'm, I uh, have the awning up, I could just take the awning off uh, and let it uh, be there while I'm away and then kind of pull back into or back into the same spot and then kind of easily put the awning back up. Uh, in other words, uh, not a lot of setup or take down time every time I wanted to move the truck. And the, the awning that I came up with was the Moonshade awning. And, and it, it has turned out to be, let me, let me get that here. It's, um, this, is, uh, this is the awning in a bag. It's small, uh, which is important for truck camping because it's easy to pack away. Um, but but I'm, I'm, I'm going to go over this today a little bit about how I've been using it. It's definitely, this is not meant to be uh, a detailed product review, but rather just kind of uh, how I solved the issue of an awning that met my needs. This is it. All right, let's get into this and see how it's set up. The bag... Um, and I'll have to say that the bag actually works well uh, for the awning as far as reusing it. There's the awning itself. There are all the poles um, and a couple of tie outs, or there are actually a few of those. Um, now, in terms of attaching the awning to the vehicle, you can do that in uh, one of a couple different ways. One option, if you want to put it on the vehicle where it would be against the paint, uh, would be these suction cups and they're supposed to be paint safe uh, and th these are heavy duty suction cups i mean they really would i think do a good job as far as holding it in place uh, even in bad weather now i wanted to um, i didn't want to go that route i instead wanted to use the luggage rack on the roof which is metal uh, so i ordered some magnets that um, i did have to order extra but and i forget how much they cost exactly but it wasn't very much um, and, th and these are these are substantial magnets too, and they uh, they actually do a good job of holding this in place. And and I'm going to show you now actually how I how I have set this up for the the luggage rack. All right, now I'm standing up on the tailgate. There's Hank, um, and and here is the the luggage rack or the roof rack uh, that I wanted to work with. Now these are magnets, uh, and this cap is made out of fiberglass, so there's nothing there. The, the rack itself is all rounded, so it, it can connect, but it's not stable. So I had to put, and in looking at these, you can see that metal work is definitely not my strong suit. But what, what I did is I just uh, took a piece of metal uh, that would have a flat edge on it there, and I clamped it uh, to the rough, roof rack on both sides, basically, and uh, then spray painted the whole thing black just so it wouldn't stand out so much. And these magnets, have a, a one of these poles that will go through these these eyelets and so and you can see that's pretty strong so what that does is that just mounts on there and this one mounts here and then the pole will go through uh, these eyelets and will serve as the connection point for the awning to the vehicle uh, and there might be i could have maybe done the suction cups here uh, but but still wanted it uh, for wanted it up a little bit higher if I could get it and thinking uh, if I had it to do over again I might try the suction cups when this is through here when there's a pole here and I won't show this to you later but I'll tell you now there's a pole through here and the awning is extending off I do run a zip tie through um, uh, the awning pole and this piece of metal here just to kind of help secure it and when I'm 
leaving for a bit and then coming back, I just cut cut the uh, zip tie, and I have a bunch of them, uh, and throw it away, and uh, and then take the two magnets with the pole off, uh, and let the let the awning uh, go to the ground. When I come back, I just put the magnets back in place, uh, and put another zip tie in, and I'm good to go. All right, back on the ground now, and then I'm going to put this awning together real quick. It's super easy uh, to assemble. I'm going to do that real quick. All right, and then there are two poles. And I will say that in Michigan, uh, I got, I did get caught in a heavy snow, and I had the awning up. And uh, it held together. It was actually very windy, gale force winds. Um, uh, but one of the one of these poles bent, to, and it would still work, but it was out of shape. So I um, contacted the company, and they did sell me uh, a couple more poles for I think it was twenty five dollars each, which I didn't think was too bad, uh, considering. So anyway, you got two poles, and I'll go ahead and start this. Put that in here. This is just like a lot of tents, I would think. Hey, Hank, buddy man. Okay, there. And then there are some clips that are quick. That's it. That's your awning. And you can see from the shape of it uh, that it's it's uh, put together like a dome or a parachute with the support from the top. So it really does not collect rain at all. It, it just runs off the edges. Okay, now I have put together this um, additional pole that is uh, goes uh, up against where I'm gonna put this, the luggage rack or the roof rack. And you can see here are the two magnets uh, that I've shown you. I've had this in some very strong weather, some wind and everything, and there's some wear on there from where these connect. But anyway, this pole uh, just goes together kind of like these other poles that I showed you. And then there are eyelets on each end um, where uh, they um, you feed the pole end through, and that holds it in place. And so now I'm going to put this up on the, on the roof rack. Okay, now I have attached the awning to the roof rack, and you see there's a little bit of wind today and it's lifting this up. Uh, the two magnets, you can see those are in place and how that, that bar runs through there, or that rod. Um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to attach the two outer rods so that it will be completely elevated through the eyelets here. Good job, Hank. One, two. And that is about it. Uh, there are um, the, the tie outs that you can add either to this clip here or this attachment that would extend out and secure this to the ground. Now I'd mentioned earlier about taking this down and putting it back up. What I've done is I just leave the, these in place um, and when I'm ready to go, I just climb up here and take these two magnets off and let this go to the ground, let the awning go to the ground. And then when I come back, I back up into the same spot and then I just uh, put the two magnets back in place. And there it is, it's back, back on the back of the truck. Now I will say, so this has been, for me, this has been um, surprisingly durable. It's, I've had it in some tough wind, rain, even the snow, and the, one of the rods did bend with the snow, but I got replacements pretty easily. And so it, 
you know, having this uh, pretty much if you're in bad weather uh, or you just need some shade, it, it pretty much increases your living space, uh, pretty much doubles it from the back of the truck. Uh, and, and that's been very helpful. You can cook back here, have a chair back here. The other thing I wanted to show you is uh, because there aren't any poles up close to the truck, you know, Hank, for example, he's tied out here. I've got two tie outs in the back. They can, I can have two dogs tied out here without their chains getting caught up in any awning poles. They can get under the awning still. Uh, so that's, that's another plus there for this with, with the way I'm using it anyway. So that's it. If, uh, if you have any questions about something that I didn't cover in enough detail, definitely just write that out in the comments and I'll, I'll see what I can do. And, and if you have any suggestions for how to make it better, I, I'd appreciate that. All right. Thank you.